We will be looking at an Arduino controlled variable constant current source. This is Lewis Laughlin. My website is listed here, or at least one of them. This is a circuit I've used in the past, but now we're going to give Arduino complete control over the output using pulse width modulation and some circuit modifications. Here's a diagram of the system. This simply represents an Arduino. Here is a potentiometer that controls the pulse width duty cycle. There's a pin called uh, enable that has been added to the circuit. I'll show you the circuit momentarily. And you can either switch the constant cur current source on and off or you can pulse width modulate it. Your peak current is set by an internal potentiometer to the circuit. Here again is the test circuit that you will see demonstrated in a live video at the end of this uh, brief introduction. There's your uh, enable pin and your PWM pin as well. This will be set up to go from 0 to 2 amps through a 5 ohm load that consists of two parallel connected 10 ohm resistors. This circuit you may have seen before. It's my old constant current source using an LM317 to control the emitter base current of a PNP transistor. Where this differs is the ground circuit now has to pass through a TIP120 or similar NPN transistor. This is where you can switch the current through the LM317 on and off or pulse width modulated to control the overall output power. Alright, let's get into this circuit. I have redesigned my constant current source which is this board right here and this set of power transistors and heat sinks to be directly controllable by an Arduino Uno. It will take the power the 18 volts at 3 amps from this power supply and I will be able to control the output current and thus the output voltage into this ten, uh, 5 ohm load over here. That's two 5 ohm resistors and 10 ohm resistors in parallel. Later on I'll be adding current sensors and Arduino can directly monitor the current but for now, I'll just demonstrate Arduino controlling this through pulse width modulation. Like my earlier constant current source, my peak current is set by this control. And you can't go above the peak current. And you can control it through the Arduino pulse width modulation. Let's connect this up. And let's zoom in a bit. All right, you're seeing the current through the uh, system, and this is the voltage across the uh, 5 ohm load. 1 amp at times 5 ohms is 5 volts, as indicated on this meter. I'm going to change my current. I'm only at about 50% uh, duty cycle at the moment. We'll up it I think. Nope, that's going down. Let's up this to 2 amps. There we go. 2 amps is my upper limit. That was set by the control on the other board. 2 amps through a 5 ohm load is going to be 10 volts as you see here. Once again, this is the output power is being controlled by the Arduino directly. We'll look into the circuits. Also note that I can completely turn on and off the entire current source with the Arduino. If I, I can take it 
all the way down to zero or I can put a what I'm putting it into it now I'm putting 200 milliamps times 5 ohms is 1 volt. <laughs> 